What is up guys, it's your grandpa of the grace here with my good friend Western Engine 11. Today we are going to discuss and explain some of the biggest mysteries in the diecast community, so make sure you follow us in this iceberg video. That's right, bro. Just like in the Trackmaster iceberg, we will have some spicy topics discussed here. So let's jump right into it. Shark Exhibit Box You already discussed this in the Trackmaster Iceberg we did, but since the set itself is diecast, he felt like to put it here as well. The box features a piece of Trackmaster track, which is very random and strange, but on the 2013 re-release, it was fixed and replaced with CGI track. Take Along James Variant from 2002 to 2007, the Take Along James was incorrectly depicted with grey wheels, but in 2007 it was corrected to black when they redesigned some items. There are many other vehicles with grey wheels instead of black, but only James was fixed. This includes Duck, Bertie, Bulgy, Elizabeth and some others as well. Green Salty In 2013, Mattel planned to release a Green Salty from the episode Salty Surprise but it was cancelled most likely because of the redesign of the brand. Lady Variant The Take Along Lady had two different colored sets of wheels. One with the color of the boiler and the other one with the color of the running board. The darker wheel version might be a knockoff, we're not sure about that. Spick and Span DVD Not many people know the Spick and Span DVD's origins. When you first see it by yourself, you immediately think that it might have been one of those deluxe sets, but it wasn't. It actually came with some versions of the train yard set. Light Up Racers The Light Up Racers series consisted of four releases in both Take and Play and Adventures. Thomas, Percy and Rosie were released in both lines, but one of them wasn't in the other. Charlie was in Take and Play, but he was replaced with Stanley in Adventures. Not sure about why did they do this. Adventures Vinny. All of the Great Race diecast characters were re-released in Adventures, but Vinny wasn't. It's strange how they left him out. Totally Tidmouth set. In some versions of the Totally Tidmouth set, there was a Great Waterton foldout set included while every box had the Mathway Station one on it. RFMI Thomas. The Rescue from Misty Island was one of the first sets released in Take and Play. Maybe this explains why the box had Take Along Thomas on it. Adventures Cancellation There was a range of characters cancelled in the Adventures line due to the takeover of Push Along. This includes Rebecca, Rajiv and Bert. Nia and Hongmei were also nearly victims of this, but they got released in the last minute. Working Hard Set Truck some versions of the Working Hard set were released with a red truck, but the others had a blue truck in them. Shane and Lexi Delay The Adventures Shane and Lexi were originally planned to release in 2017, but they were pushed back to 2018 for unknown reasons. Take and Play Fergus In 2016, Mattel planned to release Fergus in Take and Play, but it was cancelled. This could set up a theory that the Adventures Trevor may have used the already produced molds of the Take and Play Fergus, which Mattel didn't want to throw away. Twin releases When the second redesign of Take and Play came out, several twins were released as well. The odd thing about them is that 99% of them were released one year after the other. Ben, Dash and Bert were released in 2014 while their twins were released in 2015. The only exception are Donald and Douglas and Max and Monty, which all came out in 2015. Interactive Learning Railway Edward There's a range called the Interactive Learning Railway, which is basically Take Long and Wooden Railway mixed up. They made this theme team from 1 to 7, but they left Edward out for some reason. Here's an edited image of how he would have looked like. Take Along Cranky variant. The Take Along Cranky was released in two different designs. One which had a scrolling string on it and the other one was electric. The electric one was released on a brown or orange platform which just nothing like Brendam Dox's environment. Presumably it was done because they had to fit the battery compartment and the motor somewhere. 
Collectible Railway Charlie variant. The Collectible Railway Charlie has a variant where the buffer beam is not painted. Even on this one set's box, it was changed. 2013 Henry variant. The 2013 Henry was the only CGI character not to receive a CGI face on his model. On later versions of him, it was changed so he got a CGI face too. Take Along Lori 1 From the three Loris, only Lori 1 was released in Take Along. A theory on why he was the only one is that Erlo only made him as a sea soaked version, while the other two were regular releases. This left Learning Curve to produce a regular version, completing the fleet. The Rarest Take Along Items Many people think that the rarest take along items are the deluxe play scenes. This is not true because there are two Thomases which were only available for a few months in 2009 in Japan, few months before the brand's discontinuation. Erto Stewart Erto made a Falcon by reusing Sir Handel's model and making a new nameplate for him. However, Stewart wasn't made because his mold had to be changed to do so because of the funnel, which was too expensive for the brand. Collectible Railway Ferdinand The Collectible Railway Ferdinand was released with a Fowler tender due to budget cuts. Odd thing though that this original tender was used for his adventures release, possibly because they didn't want to make a plastic mold for Ferdinand's unique tender design, meanwhile the adventures just had to reuse his Take and Play counterpart's tender. Take and Play Talking Charlie Most of the Toy 10 Take and Play Talking releases have the same face as their regular counterparts. However, they made a different one for Charlie for some reason. The regular release had a laughing face to him, whereas the talking one received the most subtle smiling face. Adventures Duck Mattel planned to release the Adventures Duck in 2018, but it was cancelled. Here is a picture of him. We found it as a prototype pic, but I think it's only an edit. Erto Daisy the Erto Daisy's design lacks the front coupling, but it's clear that her buffer beam has room for one. Very odd indeed. Bertram Bertram's Erto model had an incorrect U instead of an A in his nameplate. This is true for his Trackmaster prototype too, but it was fixed on the later version. Adventures and Collectible Railway Differences most of the people count Adventure as the worldwide version of Collectible Railway, however, they are not entirely the same. Most of the Adventure's tenders are metal, however, all the Collectible Railway tenders are plastic. Percy received an entirely new mold with a new footplate in Adventure's. There are some smaller differences in detail as well, for example, buffer beam paint, etc. Hank Box Air on the Hank and the Fish's multi-packs packaging, his tender is reversed. Take along similar Japanese merch. We found this picture of these two items which look oddly similar to take along. We don't know the brand's name though. 2013 Oliver the 2013 Oliver was planned to be released but it was cancelled along with the Millie's Dusty Discovery special release. They were released in 2016 though, but they were designed. Here is an edit of Oliver's possible 2013 look, both unpackaged and packaged. Fake Alongs These knockoff take along and take and play items are some of the best ever third party items. Some are even hardly distinguishable from their real counterparts. Hank, Connor, and Caitlin's coupling. In the TV series, Connor and Caitlin didn't have front couplers, however, Hank did have one. Odd thing though that on their diecast versions, Connor and Caitlin did receive couplings while Hank didn't. Narrow Gauge 4 Pack The Take Along Narrow Gauge 4 Pack contains a step needed, while he is standard gauge. Because of this, many people believe that he's narrow gauge. Presumably, Learning Curve included him because he mostly interacted with the narrow gauge engines. But since they could have just thrown another narrow gauge engine because not all are here, it feels kinda pointless. Ertel, Percy and Henry variant The Ertel, Percy and Henry were released in two shades of green. We don't know how this was done, which was first, 
Was it intentional or not? So it's all a mystery. Milk tank variant. We are not sure if this is true or not since we didn't find any information about this. But Gruff remembers seeing an Earthel milk tanker without the tin of text on it sometime in the past. Maybe this is just his bad memory. Rumbling Goldmine Run Thomas prototype. The take and play Rumbling Goldmine Run set had a Thomas with gold particles on it, however, on the box it only featured a regular Thomas. I personally don't get it, why is this so interesting? It was Westy's idea. Ah, shut up. Muddy Adventures 4 Pack. The Muddy Adventures 4 Pack was one of the last take on releases. By its contents, it's safe to say that it was based off of Splish Splash Splosh's original script, where Billy and Elizabeth were included in the cast. Sodor Engine Works variants. Some of the take along destinations were released in different colors, but the Sodor Engine Works had the most releases. We have a picture of every single one that we know. Comic Con take along Thomas. So we only found out after we made the iceberg pick that this is not Comic Con Thomas. It was a 10 year appreciation gift for learning curve employees. But still an interesting quote unquote release by any means. Workbench James There was a random Thomas themed workbench which had a take along James picture on the box. Since this thing was not a learning curve product and it was released way after Take Along got discontinued, it is unknown why did they use this picture. Japanese Take Along When Learning Curve discontinued Take Along worldwide in 2009, Tomi purchased the brand and released this nearly identical range called Diecast Metal, which had a few differences to Take Along. It was discontinued around 2013. Check out similarity. There's this brand called Limited Edition Collection nicknamed Checkout, which is oddly similar to the take-along design, although it's a cheap material. The items were made out of a rubbery material, they had no couplings and tenders, no minor details whatsoever, and their wheels were fake, they had wheels mounted in the chassis. Some interesting things about this brand that it had a variant of Edward with a much bigger boiler, and there is this Toby made from the same material, but it's not Checkout. It is unknown what type of Toby this is. If you know it, let me know in the comments below. Erdo Board Game Thomas There was a board game with this Thomas included in it with some troublesome trucks. Its design closely resembles the Erdo Thomas. Take Along Silver Thomas with Wooden Railway logo The Take Along Silver Thomas is a quite popular special engine release. What's not so popular about it is that the early versions had a Wooden Railway logo on the box, but it was fixed on the later versions. Take Along Catalog Error on this take-along checklist from the Timber Shed set, the Lights and Sounds Waterfall Tunnel is incorrectly called Lights and Sounds Drawbridge. Stodor Warehouse Set This was the early version of the Working Hard Set, which didn't include Duncan yet. 2013 Spencer When the first revamp of the brand came around, most of the popular engines were redesigned as well. Spencer is a different breed in this case since he only received the talking version. He only got a regular one in 2014, which is the dumb magnet one. Another interesting thing, that this one only came with a four-wheel tender. 2013 Thomas variant There are some versions of the 2013 Thomas equipped with an incorrectly molded fatter face. These were mostly released in the shark exhibit set. D'Agostini similarity there was a time when D'Agostini produced Thomas merch, which closely resembles the Ertel line. 2013 Donald In 2013, only Douglas was released from the Scottish Twins. Donald was left out for unknown reasons. We didn't find any information on why he wasn't released. It isn't even said whether if it was cancelled or not. Early 2014 Engines Just before the second revamp of Take and Play, there were 2013 ones with unpainted buffers and whistles. Adventures Ad Error On an Adventures ad, the Trackmaster logo was put there accidentally. Some say it was intentional though, since that was the first push-along ad. 
early Earthtool engines. The very first Earthtool engines in 1984 were not only paper faced, but they also had white running board modes. Earthtool German tankers. There were several Earthtool tankers released, for example, soda fuel, tar, and milk. What's interesting though is that these were released in Germany with German text on them. Very odd, we had never seen such a thing before that not only the packaging is changed, but the item itself as well. Morgan's Mindset Variants The Take Long Morgan's Mindset had several releases, one with Thomas and the truck, one with Thomas and Stanley, and one with the Dusty Duncan and the Great Waterton truck. Take Along Medal Thomas 4-pack This 4-pack was planned to release around 2009, however it was cancelled because Mattel bought the brand <coughs> thankfully. <coughs> it seems like it would have been based off of the episode Spick and Span. Take Alongs in Take and Play Advert In one of these early Take and Play ads, Mattel used Take Along items to advertise their brand. Not the best marketing if you ask me. Take along puzzle promo. At some point, Learning Curve produced a random puzzle which they used for advertising take along. Japanese take along Harold. When Harold was released in the Tomy take along style, his rollers were changed for some reason, whereas all the other characters stayed the same. Express coaches. The express coaches were planned to be released in take along, but they were cancelled before they even made their prototypes. Here is an edit on how they should have looked like. Porter variant. The 2013 Porter was one of the last 2013 style releases, but in 2014 he also received some minor differences. His bell is now molded to the body and his handrails aren't painted in front of his boiler. Derry Edward. This is one of the popular cancellations. Mattel planned to release this Dairy Edward along with the other special Spills and Thrills 4 packs in 2014, but it was cancelled to make room for the redesigned Tale of the Brave editions. Diesel 10 On this Calling All Engines 4 pack, Diesel 10's name is misspelled Diesel 10, leaving the E out. Erdl, Koldi, and Godred prototypes. Not only the Erdl, Koldi, and Godred prototypes were made in real life, but they were also up for sale at some point. Their whereabouts are unknown. Prototype Ben 3 Pack The Ben Cement mix up was of the 2014 Tale of the Brave Take and Play 3 Packs. But last year, we found this auction on eBay where Ben had black wheels and different windows. Only the prototype had black wheels. So this claims it might have been a prototype. Credit to oldiron1014 on Instagram who owns it. Make sure to follow his account, guys. Take and play in collectible railway packaging. The collectible railway items were basically take and plays with different coupling system released at the same time as the dumb magnet items, but in different countries. But we have some very spicy photos of take and plays packed into CR boxes. Even the blisters are for the taken place, so maybe they mixed up the cards in the factory. But we got a whiff here in the same situation, whereas he is a 2013 release, which were already discontinued at the time. Even more odd that whiff was the only 2013 engine not to be released as a single, only available in multi-packs and sets. This is all a mess if you ask me. Erdl take along carrying case. Sometime around 2007, this carrying case was released with some engine. Nothing special, right? Not until you realize that this is an Erdo carrying case. Even the licensing is Erdo on it. We are not sure that Erdo agreed on this or if it was stolen from them. This is also all a mystery. Erdo prototype adverts. In this advert from 1994, the models of Renee Sard and Duncan are their prototype versions. It is unknown what happened to them afterwards. Take along Daisy prototype. The Take Along Daisy's prototype uses Boko's chassis and wheel configuration. This is very odd because Boko was never made in Take Along. Maybe this explains that he was cancelled. Take and play Henry in 
Did somebody say Henry? Lord, what are you doing here? I just jumped in because I heard you saying a Henry entry and you know he is my favorite character. Yeah, but oh well, go on then. Thank you. They can play Henry in Trackmaster promo. In this magazine there are some Trackmaster items advertised, but how did that take and play Henry get there? Thank you, Schlord, for being our guest today. But now, let's give the word back to Westy. And the biggest fact in diecast history. Tell me is better than ten wrong! So that wraps up the diecast iceberg, I hope you all enjoyed it, special thanks to my friend Westy who helped me make this video, and to my brother Chlord who jumped in for an entry, and for everyone else we got the information from. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! See you all next time, bye! This was Sir Ramp of the Grace, signing out, peace.